Hello! I am here today to address a problem that has been going on with YouTube for a while now. Most of you who are watching Let's Players hear them complaining about Oh, we don't make any money anymore, and that's actually correct, and I will go into this fact a lot in this video, because I get my video sagged and I don't even make money from it. It doesn't make sense. Like, sure, I can understand companies using this, but... Yeah, we'll get into it. I even have some solutions for this. However, I doubt the companies and Google will accept them because it will fuck them over, somewhat. They will still earn money from it, but whatever. Now, basically what they are doing... Most companies are now trying to get out of this because... Google forced this and it takes about a week for the companies to actually cut out of it so that you can start making money from their games again. If you make videos. However, there are several big companies that are with this because... Well, they earn money from the ad revenue on YouTube. Now, I wish I had animating skills so I could draw this up in a nice little line on uh, the screen for you, but I'll just try and explain it as best I can, okay? Basically, what they are doing is... First of all, let's start with the work we Let's Players do. First, we need to figure out what we're going to record. We need to get hold of the game. Pay for it, pretty much. We need to sound entertaining, not be too tired. We need to make sure the video doesn't fuck up, we need to make sure there's enough space on the hard drive, we need to make sure microphone is working, we need to make sure drivers are working, we need to check optimization for lag, we need to check darkness, brightness, oh yeah, we need to check brightness, contrast, everything for the best viewer experience. For you guys, because, well, oh yeah, guys and girls, because YouTube, well, when you compress a video, it doesn't say like it does on the screen, like one red pixel, one black pixel. Instead it maybe is like, or if it, there's a bunch of black pixels, it says 194 black pixels convert mass. And that reduces the size a lot. That's where you see those weird big square artifact things on some videos sometimes. That's what compresses the video, because a normal 30 minute video recorded with Raps or DX Story is, oh I don't know, 20 to 100 gigs. I'm not even joking. That is why you need editing programs, and uh, they also compress the video once you are done editing. So, first, we get the game, we get the program, we make sure that everything is working, then we record the video, then we make sure that nothing got corrupted, we make backups, and already by this point we are into hours of work, like upwards of 8 hours sometimes. Then we open the editing program. In there, you can edit with however much you want, from 0 minutes to uh, God, if I know, the maximum I've seen someone do, I think, is 500 hours. Or well, not hours, 500 minutes, which tells you a lot. There's a lot you can do in the programs. And then you save the file, and if you forget about that, well, if the program crashes, let's redo all that editing again. So, then, when you're done editing, you render it out in a format you want. You look through, once it's done, after everything between half an hour to several hours, it depends on how fast your computer are and if you have any external rendering cards and similar, like external CPUs, motherboards, and RAM, it eats your computer. I don't that's the part I don't think many people understand. Like it's not just the games you play. The programs to compress and edit the video take your computer apart if you're not careful. Like my computer performance, it's about one and a half years old, and it has dropped by like 10% because of how much videos I made on it, and I haven't even done that many. Like, I have a hard time myself to getting inspiration for recording and stuff and something interested, bec because I'm very tired and I work a lot in my head, like, I can have 200 things going through my head at one time, and it's hard to focus on what I'm talking about, so I'm uh, just like this in most of my videos, with it, which is not ideal, I admit it. But, I try to stay engaged. Now... When the rendering is done on the video... You then... Upload it, which, if you don't have super fast internet, even for me it can take upwards of... Uh, everything between 10 minutes and an hour. And that's with Swedish Ultra Internet. Sure, I have some problems with it every now and then, but whatever, it's really fast. And... Um, then you need to make tags for the video. 
you need to come up with a title, a description, you need to make a thumbnail if you feel like it, which is a really good idea, believe me, I've started doing that lately. Then you need to sit and respond to comments, hate comments uh, that just have no sense, like if they have an opinion and a goal, and you can somewhat see their points, and you can uh, go by it, reply to them or whatever, or just try and follow it. However, if it's just like, you suck, you know, reason for why and stuff, just remove them. You have to do that and make sure that the comment section is a nice place on your channel. For bigger channels, this is hell. Believe me, there's hundreds of comments a minute on some channels, which is why they don't even bother anymore. So, and then we of course have the new comment system on YouTube, which, oh my god, I hate it so much. Sure, I like being able to write for long times, but... Really, 500 rows of text and being able to post links and no, 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 Google, no, no, get rid of that. Keep the length, maybe, but remove, just remove the ability to post links in there. It's so bad. Now, onwards from that, though. At that point when the video is uploaded, you may have been working for days on it, literally. Even the recording part, if you go via, let's say, Efo, who records his videos in pops, some of his videos takes a week to get done. Now, sure, it records Minecraft, but let's say it was a game that uh, actually was in this new system whereby, oh, hey, the company takes all the money. Would you do a week of work, you have a slow-ass internet, Upload it and then have uh, the possibility to earn a few hundred dollars on that one. And the company just. No, our money, because our game, even though we're here to watch the person playing it and not just the game, because just the game would not make any sense, it's our money now. No, that doesn't make sense, does it? Sure, there are games like, let's say, Silent Let's Plays, where you just go through the game. I know a lot of people like uh, watching that, especially on games they wouldn't play themselves themselves, but you're interested in the storyline. On those, I can kind of see the point, because then there's just, like, someone skilled just playing through it without any added commentary or anything. It's just someone playing the game silently. You're not even doing anything. Probably not even editing, you're just uploading it raw. And at that point, at that point, I can kind of call it the companies. However, you still put in a lot of work to compressing it and everything. And if you record from an Xbox, for example, you even need to buy extra equipment to be able to do that. Which makes it so... It's a really fine balance. I can see the issues with the laws colliding here. However, there needs to be a new system and not some automated bot. Sure, it would take... Mm, a couple of hundred thousand people to check all the videos that go through YouTube each day. But otherwise, you can let the companies... Like, have their own bots going through looking for stuff, and if you think, oh, this is not allowed, then the person cannot uh, provide any scripted evidence or anything, remove the video. You need a person sitting here. A bot reacts to anything. It's a computer. It's not that intelligent. No matter how much we wish to believe it is, it's like, oh, hey, this is this. We cannot check if you have a mission or not because we're a robot. We just go via the rules that we have here, and no way to check if there's a link somewhere. Let's flag it. That's about the logic right now. <laughs> right now. So, yeah, as I said, after like some people, as I said, like 48 hours minimum on their videos. Some people, that is most people, like five hours maybe, like me. And that's just with the recording, editing, and then uploading. And reading the comments. No, not even reading the comments, just getting it to upload. And then you don't make any money of it. Most people uh, think it's like, Oh, la, did I play a game and I talk, la, da, da. Try to sound engaging 99% of the time. I know how hard it is because I fail at it horribly. I, yes, I'm not even going to claim anything else. But I do my best and I provide entertainment for some people when there is nothing else to watch. Like when I go to YouTube sometimes, yay, I don't have a life, whatever. Um, it's like, oh, no new videos, whatever, let's look at some random video. And I don't really care if it's super engaging. It's just something to do for the moment. It's a time sink. Which, well, whatever, go play Farmville or something. Time sink as hell, just buy over there somewhere. And, uh, rather, out my door. Out there, now. 
So, anyway, after that, like, let's say those people edit for days, like, work on the video for days, and then you don't make any money from it. You have spent more work hours to entertain people on a site that is free for them by commercials that should be paying you. And the company says, no, we own like two seconds of this in this video, so we're going to take all that cash. And Google doesn't care because they still earn a minimum wage for the companies being allowed to show commercials on the page at all. And then the rest that gets uh, from the views, the company has takes. So you literally don't earn anything. I'm right now having a stream up here with uh, Morfar, a uh, Swedish uh, YouTuber and streamer. He works 20 hours a day, roughly. He works at an animal, sh animal shelter he is running in Thailand, running off of donations. And he makes YouTube videos to for his daily bread. He has about 1,336... no, 1,313 videos, I think. Right now, over s like, almost 800 of them have been claimed. He makes more money streaming on Twitch for three hours with less than 100 people watching than he makes from all in of his videos in a month. That should tell you something of how big problem this has become. Like, almost 60-70% of his videos, I'm bad at math, that should be a rough estimate there. He just doesn't make any money from it. The companies do. And the fun fact is, some people can just claim this when it takes days for it to be resolved. It doesn't even check if there's a valid company or the company has anything to do with it. It's just like, oh hey, I can claim this now because the bot's busy with something and Google doesn't care anymore. Yay! Now, what is the biggest form of media on YouTube, you may ask? Oh yes, gaming right now. The thing that gets most views daily by like 70 to 80 percent on good days is gaming. Now what do you think will happen when those people actually earn money from the gaming videos? No longer make money and can have it as their job. Oh yes, that number will drop. So what Google is essentially doing here, together with all the companies that are enforcing this, they're shooting themselves in the foot because nobody will... Um, Nobody will play their games. I will take a quote from Morpher here, where he says, uh, I wouldn't like to see someone doing a vlog of, like, uh, a review of The Binding of Isaac. Oh, you're this kid that walks around in the house, finds something, goes down to the basement, and for a trapdoor, and then you kill things. That's not an accurate representation of Binding of Isaac. I would get, like, an epic-looking, ultra-graphics 3D game whereby you run around with an axe or something as a little kid. No. Anyone who doesn't know what Binding of Isaac is, search it up and you will see exactly how easy it is to just get a completely different picture of the game in your head. It, it doesn't work! It just doesn't! A written review, sure, screenshots, but whatever, you need to see the game working properly in front of your eyes. That's why YouTube uh, became big for gaming to begin with, because people could check, oh, this game works! Oh my god, I don't have to rely on possibly... What uh, is it called? Bribed uh, reviewers on the web anymore. Yay! Guess what? Not anymore. Like, 97% of the people who upload gaming videos on YouTube don't make money from it. Or some of them did, but they weren't connected with, like, Polaris or IGN or anything, or full screen for that matter. Like, uh, companies, groups that pay the people who make the videos and then deal with the law, like with the legal stuff themselves. As a, you basically can call it a production company for TV, but here it's gaming with amazing support for most of them, believe me, and amazing people in the networks. Anyone else, like the 97% of the people who uploaded and are not in those, nope. No paychecks. Like, 97% there is also people who didn't make money, but anyone who's not in uh, one of these uh, groups like Polaris and IGN and everything, no. No more money. You can't make money. 
like, I'm going to take an exception here, and don't hate me, because I like to do this as well, I watch a lot of his videos. PewDiePie, for example, they don't touch him, because he has such a fan base, and he has a special agreement with Google and YouTube themselves, because that makes sense, to keep his subscribers happy. They don't go after his videos this way. You know why? Because upsetting roughly, I don't really know how much it's up to now, like 3, 4, 5 million subs or something. That would be very bad PR, wouldn't it? You can probably get the point now, like, if you look at the business system Google is using right now, it's mafia. It's like, oh hey, let's fuck these people over and the companies go in and take money from people pretty much for content that they see my own. Like, when I watch someone who plays... Let's say Minecraft and some other game. If I watch all of their videos, I'm obviously there for the person, not just the game. Like, the game is the scene that they act on, like any good uh, comedian, for example. You need a scene or somewhere for them to be, for it to actually work out somewhat well. If you take that away, well, what's the interest? It's a black screen with someone talking. Oh, so interesting. Where were I? You get the point, and at that point, the companies still claim it. Sure, as I said, there are people who are like, oh, hey, let's just record this. No, nothing. Like, no commentary, no editing, just raw up to YouTube, cash, whoa. Or even better, people who let's play using a camera in front of their TV or something. That's. I don't like the quality, I like the concept because people may not have uh, enough to buy a HPVR, but don't even try to make money of that. It's that is what I call lazy work. I draw the line there. Dear companies, be nice, maybe take a bit of them, but not all. And here's where I get to the point where I said, take a bit of the cash, but not all. Since you're there to watch a person, not just a game, and sorry for the eyebrow, it's just my face. Creepy as hell, I know. I will see you. Anyway. Since you're there to watch the person as well, and not just the game, it's pretty much divided by, let's say, 10% for Google for holding the site open, then 45% for the person who is actually making the video and putting it up on YouTube, and then maybe 45% for the company. I would be happy with a deal like that, because then all sides win. Yes, there's, there's just no, no one loses in that situation. Sure, you may get a little less cash from your words, but you still make cash from all of them. See where I'm going? And then we have people with ad blocks, so you don't make money from videos all the time, as you may imagine, because if you don't, if you use ad block, no money is generated, because it's the ad and you watching it that generates the money for people on YouTube. So, if you wonder why people hate on people with ad block when they use it on YouTube and Twitch, you just have the reason, you're literally robbing them of the money they make from entertaining you. Think about that, you're literally robbing them. It's like you would uh, pay TV, oh I'm going to connect this via a, my own little antenna. That's so legal. Oh god, FBI. Pretty much. Um. Which is, sure, it's legal on the internet and uh, some uh, sites like I don't know, like, really bad sites with uh, games and stuff, and they're like, COMMERCIAL IN YOUR FACE! Three seconds later after you close it, COMMERCIAL IN YOUR FACE! There, ad block, I don't even care. That's overdone. Overdone. That's money hoarding for the site. Just money hoarding. And you can tell that the site isn't very popular if they have that many ads to keep it running, because then they're trying to squeeze out as much cash per person as possible to keep the site running and their pockets filled. So... Let's say, yeah, Facebook might be on a, like, the Facebook games may very well be some semi there. They make money from everything, but whatever. But let's say, totalyorkface.com and Happy Wheels. Not that many ads are there. It's like, some here and there they change. It's not like, boom, middle of the screen, giant ad. You close it, boom, next giant ad. You play for three seconds, boom, giant ad. That's just, no, not acceptable. But, still, that's what makes uh, the site and the people who make the site, like, most people don't think of it, but when it comes to websites, 
there's someone who's paying for the server they're running on, there's someone paying a company for the internet connection they're using, because most times you have to pay for the amount of internet you use. I don't really know if we are using the same deal here where I live, but I can imagine we do, and I use a lot of internet, which makes our bill really high. It's like... Mm, almost 200 euros a month, maybe? I'm not sure. It's expensive. And that's from me streaming and making YouTube and being on the internet a lot and keeping up to date. Now imagine if I would upload 2 to 5 gigabyte files of videos a day. My internet would be in the thousands of euros a month. Yes, no. And then you don't even make money from it to pay for uploading it. You basically have to pay to upload content that you have bought all the software, if you don't crack it, of course. And if you crack it, well, don't even try to make money of it, believe me. That's That, I can get the point, that's not fair. But hey, it's hard to check. You just have to have trust, even though I know trusting you mankind, good god. Believe me, I don't trust half of the people on this planet, at least. But anyway, like... How should I explain this? I'll just take the same thing I had earlier. You put hours of work into it. You pay for the game you want to play and create entertainment for people for. And then you don't make any money of it. The company who made the game that you have already paid for it and that you're making commercial for the game for free. Take all your money. Combined with the site you're uploading it to. Does it sound fair? I think not. So, I don't really have words. Let me try to get back on track more here. Like, most of you have probably seen the comment section on YouTube now, with links everywhere, spam. Fuck if I know. People have decided to shut it off. That's the point we've gotten to. The comment section is barely used anymore. Why? Because it's not readable. It's worse than it was before. Like, before it was bad. Now, I don't know any site on the internet that's worth worse. Not even 4chan. I've been on there and looked a couple of times just because I was bored. Not even that bad on most videos. Like, it's heaven compared to most big YouTubers' comment sections nowadays. It's... How do you fuck that up? Yes, really. Think about it. How do you fuck up something that worked? Oh yeah. I'm going to be mean here. You're Google. That's how. Flat out. And... If that wasn't bad enough that you had to go to Reddit or stuff now if you're a bigger YouTuber, like... TB did. He has shut his comment section off and have people going to Reddit. I personally don't have a Reddit account because I can't be bothered. I have too many accounts on other sites already. I can't be bothered having 4 billion. So I'm not even able to comment on him anymore, but because I know exactly how much work it saves him and how much nicer the community he gets into, pretty much, and how much nicer the community for the chat is, I'm fine with it. It doesn't bother me. However, is it fair that you upload something to a site, and the site's section, they make it so bad that nobody wants to use it, so they shut that off, so I can even, I'm even going to go so far that I'm speculating that they did this on purpose, to be able to eventually remove the comment section to open up more data on the site, and just have people having to commentate somewhere else because the comment section is that bad. I could, e I could actually see a plot in there believe it or not, exactly how horrid that would be. Even though I don't want to believe it, like most of you don't, I can see that it might be on purpose, sadly. Yet again, I hope it's not. I hope to God it's not, but it's Google again. I don't trust them. I just don't. So, now we have to read and comment on a video on a site that has nothing related doesn't have anything to do with the site we uploaded the video on. Makes sense? 
No! And yet again, hmm, now we have to open a Reddit account and a Reddit thread for our videos, our channel, everything. We have to upload and make videos that we don't make any money of. Lovely. Like, I've been streaming a lot lately, mainly because of this issue. And because I have live interaction. YouTube doesn't have that unless you're a really big YouTuber. You can't even live stream on YouTube without being really big. And it's broken as hell. So why wouldn't I just... Let's say get OBS, it's free. Get some internet connection if I have... Either way, I would stream in low quality otherwise and have some ads running. And I'll just make money off of that. I can read what people say live. Now, sure, Twitch has some issues right now because of some unofficial official changes that uh, me and Morpher has confirmed that something is going on. I could tell they were doing something, and I can guess what it is, but I'm not going to say anything to get anyone in trouble. I'm not going to say anything. Let's just say they're for the gaming community more. I'm probably going to move over there almost permanently, but I'm still going to put the streams on YouTube even though I won't make money on there. But, like, right now there's a one minute delay to the chat, roughly. So what you do takes like 10 seconds to go up to the site, then to keep the quality more stable and without having shops every time, they let it load up like a buffer and that takes about a minute, so you may have a minute delay between you and the chat. Oh well, yeah, what you're doing and the chat, so it's a little bit harder to interact, but it's possible still. And if anything, just put up a little annotation on the screen saying that, and voila, problem solved. So, why wouldn't I do that? And as said, like, sure, it's difficult to have a lot of people live, but it's enough if you have, like, 66 people live. I've had at once, like, 57 people. If I run a uh, ad there and earn money... If I had the ability to do so then. A couple of ads I would have earned... Um, maybe... Four or five dollars for just a couple of ads. Per, and then include people who didn't get some because of the counter and everything. It's no work! You don't even have to edit or anything. It, right now there's not even an option to edit. Well, you can cut it up and just upload it flat, but I haven't seen any other editing uh, things on there, which is really sad. But it's still like... Why would I use YouTube? Except for that I want to edit and I want to give back to the community I've been working with for years now. I had an older channel, but it didn't work out so well, so I deleted it. Uh, three years wasted, pretty much. And some other issues. But you see the point, like... you. Let's just, let me just say this, if anyone from Google sees this, Google, please, for your own sake, I like your search engine, it's really good, so don't screw what you have already built over by giving yourself such a bad name by ruining what made this site good to begin with. The ability to upload gaming content, chat about games, eventually make money from it, and you get, know what? Most companies are fine with that, because you you give ad, uh, you basically give free advertising for the game, and the only thing you uh, make money from, like the company doesn't pay you, you bought the game, and they make more sales most of the time because of that. If you're not, um, whatever the hell they're called again, I don't remember, the makers of... Uh, War C, aka Infection Survival Stories. I'm not even going to go into that rant. And companies like that, then, yet yeah, don't even bother. They're just. Mm, I don't have words. So, otherwise, on that, most companies are fine with it because they earn money, you earn money, Google earn money, everybody's happy. But no, not anymore. Now, oh, we make even more money, but the people who upload this, they don't. Sure, most companies are disabling this, but I know a few big ones, and I'm not going to name their names here, because I'm sure you all know them already, and if anything, you can just search it around on YouTube a little bit and you will find it. That actually used this to their advantage to earn more money and screw over their community. It damages both them, it damages you as an uploader, it damages you as the viewer, it damages the site, it damages the company running the site, Google, with bad publicity, it's basically a bad spiral going inwards, 
Now, I have a solution here, as I said earlier. I would be fine with, like, uh, Google taking a certain amount of the ad revenue, because they run the servers, I get it, they work on the servers, I get that as well, that's... Yes, they're doing a fairly good job, even though some bad decisions have been made, I, as I said. Mm. However, they're running it, like, they're hosting the site and having the servers with or our, our videos on, on it. They need a part of that ad revenue to be able to run it. So sure, let them have that. And then, let's say that, I'm not really sure what the numbers are, I think it differs between how much you earn from the ad and everything and how many subs and views you get. Let's say it's 10%. Then there's 90% left for you and the company. I would be fine if you split that even in half those 90% so that you got 45% and the company 45% because it's basically their game is about half of that those 90%. It's like, let's say that those, let's say it's 1 and 10% you earn and just cut off that last 10% and give those to Google. The rest there you cut off in half, so 50-50. Half to the company who made the game, half to you as a creator. Voila! Problem solved! Would that be so damn hard? Sure, it would mean a little more work to set it up with uh, what game it is, and then a new system for checking company validity and stuff, but... Everybody would be winning in that situation. Everybody! Nobody would lose their job from this, like, most... Let's... Players who don't play Minecraft and similar... Some of them are just done. Because they can't earn any money anymore. They can't upload. They need a full-time job other than YouTube. What do you do then? You upload maybe once a month or something? Like... When I start working, if I can't work with video editing, I'll probably just not upload. Or stream or anything because I won't have time. I will be tired, I will be stressed, I will be everything. Does that sound like a good future? For everyone who has worked on the site, uploading, creating content for you viewers, for years now. And making money for YouTube's previous owners and now Google for years. No, it doesn't sound like a good idea. And the best comment I see is, Get a real job, yeah. Try to make high quality content every day. Sure, as I said, I don't really do that that much because my imagination is lacking. But let's say more for, let's say PewDiePie, let's say good vintage beef. Pour some pause, Uber Hacks and Nova, Markiplier, just throw them all in there. All that nice editing takes time. Recording the video, editing it, cutting it, rendering it out, hoping there's no black screen so you won't have to re-render. Make sure it doesn't corrupt the video. Make sure you have backups. Make sure you have la di da di da di da di da di da di da 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 da. Thumbnails, tags, video, everything. Just there's so much work. It's so unbelievably stressful. Sure, you can do it from your room, but it's still really stressful. Believe me. Like, for me, and most of the times, uh, playing games is not even just relaxing anymore for me if I'm playing on the PC, which is my platform. I have an Xbox, but that crashes after 30 minutes no matter what I do. It's just old and broken, and I never use it. Like, even if I'm just on the menu, it's like 30 minutes. Me. If I'm playing something, 30 minutes, that's just all it does. So, I can't, like, it gets to the point where games don't really feel as relaxation anymore. And to the point where you have done so much in each game, if you don't make money to afford more games. That's like, I have done everything. I have nothing else to do. I need to upload something or stream something, but I just don't have anything to do. And a big part of the money you earn from YouTube goes into computer repairs, get upgrading computer, upgrading screens, upgrading software, upgrading getting more games to play, getting uh, food for yourself, paying bills, paying... It's literally people who live off of YouTube, they do this as their lives. It's like a stand-up comedian, only in my opinion, a lot better. Because it's gaming. It's like... 
Let's say people who do redstone like Efo and the Seth Bling. I find that roughly as interesting as I find the Fruit Wormhole with Morgan Freeman on Discovery Channel. Because I find it entertaining. Like, I would rather watch a really interesting episode about, let's say, Warcraft lore than I would about history. Even though I'm really inter history interested. And I mean, really I history interested. I I like to be I like to see what people can imagine up and make work together as a mass and be able to put myself into that world like with a good book that's basically what the game is it's an interactive book or an interactive movie but I don't like that term because then there's so few choices in that open world games like Skyrim yeah I know buggy not going to say piece of shit because it's pretty fun but it's unbalanced and everything or Minecraft, for example, which is buggy, but it's pretty balanced. And highly moddable, both of those platforms are. Or both of those games are. Incredibly moddable. Like, the lore behind that, and still having an open environment. That's what I like. You can go into another world for a while. And you can entertain people while in there. Now... If you make a video and earn money of it that way, you're getting the best of the two worlds. You can do your hobby as a work, or yeah, as a job, and get money off of it. However, the extra work you put in, it basically stops feeling like a hobby and more like a job, and you can have enough of a job sometimes. Even though YouTube, and I believe people, I have done YouTube videos for so long and seen exactly how nice the community can be and supportive and everything, and also the bad sides of it, but let's not even go there. Just ignore the bad side for now. Um, it's the best work in the world, pretty much, except maybe successfully saving the environment. That would be the best work for me, probably. But, next to that, YouTube or live streaming, like anything that creates content for people to be able to come home and enjoy and relax to. It's the best job ever. But now we can't do it anymore. Because the companies think, Oh, all of this uh, work they put in is actually ours. Ha. Yeah, no. Bad companies. Bad. See this finger? Bad. Stay. Stop. Back off. That's just my message there. <sighs> now, when it comes to this uh, dude's livestream, I'm watching more for yet again. He works 16 to 18 hours a day at an animal refugee, refugee shelter in Thailand that he started that runs off of charity. The rest of his day, like two, between four and uh, six hours, four, six hours, he makes YouTube videos or live streams to be able to make money. He works at least 20 hours per day, every day, even weekends, to try and make the world a better place. And he even live streams for charity. Like, not even to make money most of the time, but his live streams for Sheraton for his animal shelter to be able to keep it with syringes and everything. And if any of you have been to some of the worst places in Thailand where it comes to uh, poor, uh, like, just, uh, I don't remember the English word, like where people are very poor, and see how the animals are treated and there, there and everything, you would understand exactly how big of a job it is to have an animal shelter there. It's it's ludicrous. And he makes some money for his daily bread. And creates entertainment for us people. And creates money for the site he uploads to. And now he, he doesn't get any of that money. Like, without the goodwill of the community now. Which I would love to be able to donate, but I just don't have money. I have to focus on my, on keeping people entertained as well, which is sad. I would like to donate all the monies in the world to charity, but for that I need money to begin with. Like, most people cannot donate, and what happens then? Oh, failed project, and he 
let's just say like this, his life work right now would just be done. Mm. Mm -mm. And there's more people like this on YouTube. But I'm taking him as an example because it's just, it's just horrible how such a big company can just do something like this and not react. I'm really tempted to try and get a uh, big group against Google, but I won't do that because I know that would just lead to so many legal issues and everything, and I don't want that. I want everybody to be happy in this situation. I'm just really upset and sad, like, this is one of the reasons I don't believe humanity has a future at the moment. And quite happy with that as well, I'm not going to lie. Because if this kind of utter bullshit and everything else that is bullshit in the world right now, which is a lot. Just think about it, there's a lot. Why would we want to continue such an existence? We need to turn around. And not keep going 120 miles per hour, increasing, accelerating 120 miles per hour per second, the other direction. It just, it's, it just doesn't work out. <sighs> Something just needs to be done about this. And as I said, Twitch are making changes. And I hope I'm correct in what they're doing. I'm pretty sure I'm correct in what they're doing. And if so, I will... Sh if I'm still allowed, because Google will probably block it, so because they're douchebags like that, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of them right now. I'm still going to upload it to YouTube if I can, but all my content is going to be made on Twitch when that happens. It's just going to. I'm I'm not I'm not doing it YouTube anymore if they don't fix this. And that would be a kick in the butt for both the companies, as I said, and for Google themselves, because they make money of the site. I don't even want to know how much they paid for the site to begin with. And they have pretty much ruined it since they bought it. I like some of the changes, like, let's say, being able to have the longer comments, however, don't have links in them. The Google Plus thing with the little logo up in the corner? No, I don't want that. I want to have my little inbox on YouTube for that stuff. I just want that there. It's so useful. I don't want my Google Plus spammed with everything. Not that I really use Google Plus right now, but I could think of a few uses if it wasn't spammed by YouTube. Just, no, no, split services, there's a reason you want to do that. So if something really angry there, it's just, ugh. It's annoying me, a lot. So, I think I pretty much emptied everything on this subject right now. Except that, since 70 to 80% of the videos on YouTube are gaming videos that get the most use each day, like 70% of the videos you on a good day are gaming videos. Like, let's say weekends. That's pretty much it, or even more. What if, let's say, even 67% as a minimum of those people would stop uploading, or those videos will not get uploaded, or more seldom? You would lose most of the money that you make on the site, and the site would probably eventually close because of that, because the servers... <laughs> I can just imagine how many goddamn server computers it takes to run YouTube and store all of the... Oh my god, there has to be several hundred, if not several hundred thousand or millions of terabytes of data on there right now, it's ridiculous. They're shooting themselves in the foot, and then cutting it off, and thinking it's a good idea that they did both for no reason. And then when they can't walk anymore and they die from starvation, they're like, Oh, we probably shouldn't have done that, right? No, and you can change it right now. Spread this video everywhere if you feel like it. I just had to get this out because it's annoying me. Like, it's just, I'm just sad. Flat out. This is horrible. Like, I can guarantee that they have reached the point on Google right now where they're not even seeing their users as people, they're seeing them as numbers, like most gaming companies, like EA, for example, do. They just see them as numbers, and numbers can be manipulated. You don't manipulate gamers that easily. Sure, there are a lot of idiots in the gaming community, like 
there are in the world. It's just everywhere there's a lot of idiots and people who don't get along and everything. I'm not going to blame anyone because I don't go along with a lot of people, flat out. And I can be an idiot sometimes. However, they are not numbers. They are not dumb computers. They are human beings. And what happens when you screw over human beings? Mm. I leave that for your thoughts. There's so many good things I could say right there, but it would take an hour to count them all up. So, for now, I am done. Hope you enjoyed my little rant here, or actually about 45 minute rant. And, yet again, split the cash. 10% whatever. 45%. No, that's the wrong direction. Uh, I'm new to this webcam. This is annoying. 10. 45. 45. Done. Cash. Clear. Voila. Boom. Every problem is solved. In that retro retrospect. And people will still be able to work for you. And be able to create content. Which makes money for you. And creates jobs for people. Basically, right now... If YouTube acted in a better way. As a service. There could be... So many new jobs made for different works on the site, like, like say, video editors. There could be video recorders, there could be... Artists, let's say, if they brought back the old uh, background for... Like, if any of you was uh, on YouTube way back, whereby your whole channel background, like literally the whole white thing, could be made into a colored background, or a, like, picture background. If they brought that back, so many, so many more people could get jobs, because since then, it has grown so much. I can imagine about two, three thousand jobs as a minimum coming from that. Like, it's insane how many jobs could be gotten from YouTube, it's... How to explain it? It's like a work sink. Or like a giant working area, like a giant building uh, site that needs more workers. However, if you start automating things with things that doesn't really work that efficiently, or that works efficiently, but then pretty much kills off the human workers that operate them, it goes in a downward spiral. However, if you have human people who you pay a little extra and make a tiny less money yourself, which then goes into making more money yourself after a little while, that operate the machines and keep fine-tuning them to what they need to do, and then check the machine so that it does the right work, or the right job every time. You... You create more job opportunities, you get a better community and a better site, You pretty much just win. Flat out. The end of the game. Because discussion. I should make more of these rants sometimes. Or sometime rather. With a little video or something showing exactly how I'm thinking. That could be interesting. But anyway, for now that's it. I hope you enjoyed this rant and the opinions I took up. And don't be afraid to talk about this in your videos. From what I've seen, Google don't, doesn't even care, and if anything, make backups. Take a screenshot of when you upload a video, take a screenshot of your channel, and how big it was at the moment, and if they remove it, upload all of that content together to another site, and show exactly how afraid they are to admit they're wrong. Which, now when I've said that, if this video gets removed, you will see that it's the right side. It's pretty much also guaranteed that they won't remove it because they don't want to show that they're afraid of being wrong or anything, or that they're too big in the hat. If they play dirty, I play dirty, flat out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and feel free to use this speech in whatever other video, just give me some credit for it. Peace!